Okay, another week, another dollar. Well, okay, well, not another dollar, but just put down 200 times five and you get an idea, but another kilobuck, whatever you want to call it in this date and time because of inflation. Well, technically, you know what really gets me is inflation. Okay, if, you, if everything is inflating, and that just simply means the value of the dollar is going down. Horrible, but all right. So another day... Um, I'm back at the shop. I'm always here in the evening, usually after five, many times after 10. I just finished orbit, replacing some cables, fixing some equipment. I'll probably stop by there tomorrow morning to do more stuff, but it just depends on my schedule and how tired I am. Um, I'm running this skipper toy project. Well, I'm, I shouldn't say I'm running it. I'm fronting the whole thing. So I'm trying to get a little meeting with my group of peers. Because they're willing to do work, they're just willing to do simple work. So, okay. But whatever the case is, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to front it. The only thing I may have, made, may have made a mistake is the partial payments. I'm hoping to get all that squared out tonight. So I'm going to send out, I'm going to deal with some math. math. There's some automation I use, which is batching. And when I create a batch, I upload a batch, let people hit the payment button, and boom, I'm done. That's how easy it is, with the exceptions of onesies, twosies. So I'm going to finish processing those tonight. Yay, so I got a little couple of hours ahead of me on in doing that. Then setting out a batch. And then I'm going to figure out how the payment batches work. So I'm going to do a test tonight, and that's going to be an interesting concept because I do want to get that not nuked out and get that roll, the ball rolling for there. It would have been better if I actually waited for the closing to issue the invoices because after the pre-order closing, it, I can actually, the data stable. But since the data is real time, I don't mind either. In reality, it should be done on a real time database and you can just do it automatically. And if any adjustments that need to be done on the invoice, then I can go back into the invoice and edit invoice, either discount split or whatever the case is. Because I'm trying to use off-the-shelf tools. And off-the-shelf tools, you know, either you go in head first or you read all the manuals and you spend the entire tech team to figure out what you wanted to do. And by then, the time that you finally get it working, there's probably a better implementation of it uh, to afterwards. I run into this all the time. Yeah, I understand. Uh, I understand what I want to do. I understand what tech wants to do. And I understand what the manual recommends to do. But if you understand how anything works, any system works, then you understand its quirks, its boundaries, its limits, and you can engineer it any way you like. The sky is not the limits. So if that was the case, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be uh, having was it, we wouldn't be having SpaceX working on block four, block five. They're basically revisions of the same platform. They're just rebuilding it better every time because they learn about some limitation of technology or built around a limitation. This happens everywhere. This is the separation between technicians and engineers. So put it that way. Technicians need manuals. Engineer goes when there's uh, go, goes where there's no roads. That's my two cents for tonight. I am just really relaxing a bit, grabbing a little food, um, clearing out my shelf a little bit with some old food here, and I will probably be doing some other just ranting. Roar. Or you later.